These are 282 double cabin pickups that President Yoram Seveni officially handed over today to the districts, municipalities and regional hospitals. These double cabins were purchased with donations from the public for the COVID-19 fight. The price for each of these pickup trucks is considered fair, each having gone for 78 million shillings. And this is the point on which the president best to advise government officials to procure directly from manufacturers. 24 billion shillings was spent to procure the trucks. The money is part of 35 billion shillings contributed by the public last year to help in the fight against COVID-19. But on average, you will go about 48 to 50 thousand dollars. Imagine two times, more than two times, 50 thousand dollars for one vehicle. That is an estimated 140 million shillings in the open market, which is double the price of each truck if it had been purchased there. The direct negotiation with the Japanese manufacturer is credited for the lower price. The position reawakened the president's stand on avoidance of middlemen, whom he criticizes for inflated prices. You should buy from the manufacturer, because these manufacturers are well known. So I advise these people, please don't buy, don't tender, what they call tender. You are tendering what? People. So please, fishermen, fight the culture of, of, of tendering through middlemen. Museveni recently directed the Ministries of Education and Health and the Roads Authority to procure the services of the UPDF National Enterprise Corporation in the construction field. The district administrators were cautioned to maintain the equipment, purpose for COVID-19 surveillance and other important needs in the health department at the local governments. Previously, we have given vehicles and some have been knocked on the same day and some have had engine knocks only after two weeks. The handover was an opportunity for the National Response Fund to COVID-19, which was responsible for the collection of a total of 69 billion shillings in donations, and officials at the Ministry of Health to wash their hands of accusations of misallocation of the funds. We had started another strategy of mobilizing funds to support vaccines. We tried with the Katongo team, but because of the bad rumors that had come, we managed to, uh, to only collect one billion. The 282 pickups are an addition to another 70 handed over earlier. Jackson Onyango, NTV. And uh, the top flaps are nine.